Welcome everyone, I'm Kimberly Boschman, and this is the Intentionally Intuitive Podcast. In this episode, we're going to take a look at the December 2020 energies for life path number seven. So sevens, this month, you will probably be feeling a little more intensely, a little more strongly than most because it is a, also a seven universal uh, energetic month. And so basically what that means is collectively, we could be feeling this need for uh, seeking answers to the bigger questions. So, you know, what is the meaning of life? What is my truth? How does my truth um, coincide with the truth of the physical plane? How do I integrate the two? That sort of thing. So a lot of truth seeking uh, happening this month. There will be a lot of the need to go within and go without as well as go above and go below. And so what I mean by that is, again, going within to see what your truth is and going without to see what it is that you've been told, what it is that um, you've been, uh, you know, what belief systems, what, what systems are in place that maybe don't align with your inner truth and seeking ways to find alignment. And then also with going above and going below, that's a call because sevens, you are a bridge. And so between the mystical and the physical. And so this energy is going to be amplified this month with the need to connect to your spirituality, to your higher consciousness, and finding a way to bridge that with your physical reality. So there could be a lot of that coming in for you this month, um, more so than normal. There will also be a call uh, for rest, introspection, stillness, and solitude. Solitude is, um, or needing that alone time is something that really replenishes and nurtures the seven energy. So that's probably something that you are aware of already, given that that's your life path number, but that's going to be an energy coming in for the collective this month. So where November was this energy of family and community, this month is going to be more about finding your own solitude, <clears throat> having that alone time, and really reconnecting to self. So be aware of that and honor that if it comes up for you. Uh, relationships are going to be highlighted this month in a big way. And so be aware of you know, what relationships are highlighted for you at this time. There's something to be taken away from that, to be learned from that. Um, there's something that this person, this contract is trying, this soul contract is trying to show you or teach you. Um, so just be aware of the relationships that come up. It's through our relationships that we learn to trust others or to distrust others or to, you know, other people are usually some of our greatest teachers. They trigger within us what it is that needs to be healed or worked through so that our soul can evolve and grow. And so, you know, and then, then our relationships are bring, up, bring us some of our greatest joy. So again, I feel like relationships are going to be highlighted in this seven energy. Specialization is also going to be highlighted this month. So if you have something that you really um, want to become the master at or want to continue to learn about, so increasing your knowledge about or wisdom, uh, you could find that you are taking a new course or going back to school or um, enhancing your trade in some way. Um, or enhancing your innate gifts in some way. So that's going to be highlighted this month as well. And so really specialization in spiritual growth and personal growth. So pay attention to that and how that comes in for you. Again, this is seven energy. So you're probably very well aware of these, these uh, energetic attributes, but just understand that they'll be coming in a little bit more intensely this month for you. So I took... Uh, a time and took a uh, animal spirit card for you all. I pulled a card to see what the overall energy for seven specifically would be for December. And you guys got pig spirit and pig says, face your problems head on with confidence and courage. You will emerge victorious. And so that's something with sevens that, um, that self doubt that comes up or that, um, that mistrust of, 
self, of others, of the universe. And so, you know, whatever comes up for you this month, you're being asked to face it head on and to understand that you have the resources, you have the tools, you have the courage to make the decisions that are right for you and your truth in the moment, okay? So what's interesting is jumping right into each week of December, I've broken it down into four weeks. Of course, this course, this is a general reading and the energies can come in, uh, you know, they're fluid. So however they come in for you. But this first week of December is interesting because I see this energy of needing to make a decision, having a bunch of uh, different choices and really needing to trust your intuition and your inner guidance in making that decision. I feel like whatever decision comes up for you, whatever choices come up for you, the decision that you make is going to open up the opportunity for a new adventure for you. So a new journey, a new path. Um, that path could be a little bit intimidating, but again, find the courage because it's leading you to your highest expression. So if you feel a little overwhelmed by the decisions that you have to make or the choices that are available, that's your call, sevens, to go within, to follow that inner compass, and to understand that whichever decision that you make is the right decision for you in this moment. You can always change direction down the road. You might have consequences of those decisions, of course, we always do. But, you know, nothing has nothing is permanent, right? There is this option for redirect. So take the pressure off a little bit. Uh, take the need to have the decision be perfect or the outcome be perfect. Take that away and go with what ignites your soul, what ignites your passion, what feels good for you. And then by doing that, you're opening the door for a new journey, for a new path, an un uncharted path that um, will let you really express yourself in the highest uh, level. So really feels a little bit challenging at first just because I feel like there's a lot of choices, a lot of uh, options. But if you can sort of narrow that down, get grounded, and then go within, you will make the right decision for you in this moment. And what that will lead to is is like I said, a new adventure, a new opportunity that has a lot of potential. So really beautiful energy this first week of December. Then we move into the second week of December and it's interesting, there's this energy of kind of like getting a windfall. Um, so it feels like um, very physical, so material, uh, materialistic in a sense. So um, you could get a promotion at work, you could get new clients, you could sell some of your art, um, you know, you could get something published if you're a writer, um, you know, the options are endless, but it does feel like other people's money. So people purchasing something from you, or it could be an inheritance, um, but it feels kind of like a big windfall of money. You could play the lottery and win big. <laughs> um, so if you're drawn to that, then go for it. Uh, but it's just kind of like the stars aligning this week for you and just being kind of uh, seeing the tangibles for uh, hard work or, you know, the, the effort put in. So if you've been trying to manifest something and you've put in the effort, it's kind of like you're seeing some tangibles from that, some incredible tangibles. Uh, now, again, this is a general reading, so it's not going to be for everybody. But for those of you that this is resonating with, I do see a pretty big windfall of money for you or um, you know, maybe somebody leaves you a house or something like that, right? Or you or you win a new car, you know, it feels pretty big and significant. Um, or you get just an influx of or a flood in of clients coming in for you uh, if you've just started a new business or something like that. But again, it's this feeling of the stars aligning. And so really enjoy this energy, really, you know, use the resources for, you know, for good and enjoy that, that, that um, those resources don't hoard them or, you know, fall into that mindset of lack, just appreciate what's coming in for you and really um, enjoy this energy because it's really positive, beautiful energy. I feel like it's kind of going to put some wind in your sails and make you feel a little bit better if there's been some trying times around finances or sort of the material realm. So very positive energy for the second week. And this could be tied in with the first week where you had to make some decisions. And so remember I said that there's new opportunities coming in around those decisions. And so 
the second week could be tied in with that. Um, so just keep that in mind. Then we move into the third week of December and we have this energy of having new insights, having new ideas or knowing the direction that you want to move into, but feeling bound or confined in a way and unable to break free. So it's almost like you can see the destination, you can see where you want to go, but there's something holding you back or someone holding you back. Um, and it could be yourself. It could be fear around, you know, uh, getting more exposure, fear around being successful, fear around, you know, any of those things that come in that our mind holds us back from could be coming in this third week of December. I am getting the energy around feeling it's, it's interesting. I'm almost getting this feeling of like stuck in a relationship. And so that doesn't have to be romantic. That can be friends, colleagues, work related, whatever. But I do get this feeling of like feeling like you're stuck in a relationship. And the message is you're not, you're kind of keeping yourself there. And so again, it all comes back to you. And I also have this energy, this feeling of like looking to the future, seeing what you want, but not sure how you're going to get there, but really wanting to get there. And it doesn't feel possible given the current um, situation. And again, this feels like around a person. So somebody or something kind of holding you back. But what the universe is saying is take a closer look at this because what's really holding you back is you. So if you're in a relationship that feels toxic or feels like it's holding you back in some way from living to your greatest potential, take a closer look at that and remember that you always have a choice. Remember, remember Pig's message, face your problems head on with confidence and courage and you will emerge victorious. So there's this kind of push-pull energy this third week of December where it's almost like you want to get out, but something is holding you in, right? And so but that something is you. And so you have to muster up that courage and go after what it is that you want and say yes to the things that you want to say yes to, that your soul wants to say yes to. And and if that calls for a release or, or an ending of some sort, then that's something that you need to face with courage because it's it, it will you will emerge victorious, okay? So interesting energy is that third week of December. Again, it feels like this push-pull, like you want to go somewhere, but something is holding you back. And so take a closer look at what that is that's holding you back, what's really holding you back. Because when we put it on somebody else, when we say, well, this person or this relationship is holding me back, we're missing the bigger picture, which is that we're holding ourselves back because we always have a choice. We always have a choice how we participate, who we show up to, who we show up with, all of that, okay? So... This is an opportunity, sevens, for you to take that look within as well as without, okay? Because the answers are going to be within, but it has to do with the circumstance without, if that makes sense. So interesting. Take a closer look at that this week, sevens. Then we move into uh, this, the last week of December, and it's interesting because this energy for you all this month is really telling a story. So it's kind of like at the beginning of the month, you have these choices to be made. And then the second week of the month, you have resources coming in to help you make those decisions or to help you feel supported. Third week, you have to take a closer look at what's holding you back. And then the fourth week, I see this energy of you leaving or releasing whatever it is that was holding you back. So it's kind of very quick moving energy. Remember, the energy comes in, it's how we harness it and how we use it. You always have a choice. You can always say, no, I'm going to stay in this situation or I'm not going to move forward. You can always do that. Eventually, it gets too uncomfortable and you'll decide to move forward. But, but this fourth week of December, I do see this energy of recognizing that what you continue to show, what you've been continuing to show up for no longer holds anything for you. Um well, is only leading to stagnation, right? Is only keeping you confined. And I'm also seeing this paired with the energy of, you know, recognition, breaking out, breaking free, um, you know, just covering uncharted territory, that sort of thing. So it's like there's this polarity of this sort of oppressive energy and the need to leave that oppressive energy and breaking free and having open, expansive room to run and grow and 
and explore. So however that comes in for you, it can be around relationships, it can be around purpose, it can be around career, you know, however that shows up. But with seven, with December being a seven energy and that highlighting of the relationships, I do feel like this is going to be a very big relationship related uh, month for you all being a life path seven. So pay attention to those relationships, pay attention to the ones that come in, pay attention to the ones that you need to release and move on from. And pay attention to the lessons to be learned through those relationships, right? So very interesting energy. You have a lot of polarities occurring this month, sevens, but it's kind of like, again, remember you have the choice. And remember that the things that feel uncomfortable or challenging are leading you towards things that feel much more expansive and um, and freeing. And so, and the potential for success in a lot of ways. So again, that last week in December, it's like if you can muster up the courage to face those problems, to face those situations or relationships that are no longer serving you and release those and move on from those, you are opening yourself up to so much more alignment, so much more growth, so much more um, fruits of your labor type thing, right? So it's kind of like you hold the key, you hold the power, you just have to say yes to it. So really interesting energies for December for you all. It does sort of feel like that push-pull kind of energy, but but remember that you're always in the driver's seat. Remember, you will hold the key to the ignition. You just have to turn it and start it and move forward, okay, and make that decision. Anything holding you back at this point has, you know, you have the power to overcome. You you just have to find that courage and make those, those sound decisions and take that action. There's really this energy at the end of the month of if you can find that courage to stand in your own power and go after your heart's desires, then as the energy shifts into 2021, you have the potential to be immensely successful emotionally and physically in 2021. So, but you have to take the reins. You have to sort of, you know, tell the horses where they're going, (laughs) and and take control of that so powerful energy sevens i love to see this for you um remember you are the bridge so be that bridge (laughs) i hope that december is a beautiful month for you i hope you know whatever holidays you celebrate i hope that they're merry and joyful and bring you many blessings and until we meet again take care for now